All right, welcome everybody. Um, I'm Dan's Gaming. Welcome to my live stream on Twitch.tv. Stream every day here if you're just joining us today. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you stopping by. We're playing Dome Keeper today. And it's just a demo, so it's not the full game, but it looks pretty cool. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna be checking out lots of demos today on the live stream. Um, so let's jump in and see what it's all about. Dome. Laser dome. Not available in demo. Standard mining drone capable of a power for a precise laser. Gadget orchard. Not yet unlocked. Keeper. Demo relic hunt. Search for relic and bring it back to your dome. Huh. So we didn't need to retrieve a relic. Dome's intended difficulty. Brutal. Okay. Um. Oh. I think this is using a controller. Or not. Okay, got a controller. All right, let's go down. Oh, so we mine by doing this. Oh, uh. How do I pick up? Oh, there we go. Oh, we drag it there to process. Interesting. Interesting. Sound effects are all over the place, volume wise. So I guess we're digging down. Trying to find stuff, and I guess these are for upgrades, maybe? Looks like there's some sort of little meter there on the bottom. Some sort of crystal thing, you don't know what that is. Your first propellant fruit just grew. Um, when next to it hit A to consume. Uh oh. Move to station and upgrades. Oh. Displays the time until hostile uh, life forms arrive at the dome. Display stored resources even not in the upgrade menu. Greatly improve the power of your laser, uh, but it will move slower while firing. Laser moves faster. I only have two currently. Orchard, uh, plant a bearing fruit tree. Consumes the fruit buff. I'll move myself over here. Consumes the fruit buff to move, uh, to buff your movement and drill speed uses water. I don't have water. Jetpack to move faster. Well, looks like the only thing we can really afford is. I'll get this hostile meter. Okay, move and then shoot. Nothing's happening. I'm pressing the button, but nothing's happening. Oh, 
Um, it will not let me fire. Oh, there we go. Jeez. My God, it was not letting me fire. Okay, we now we got to restart. Damn. Okay, try again. Jeez. Let's try that again. Oh, different, totally different dome now. That was not nice. I know, we started out taking massive damage. It was like, oh. Okay. Alright. This is fun, though. I like this concept. I like games where you have to, like, defend a little base and build up on it and stuff. Yeah, that was a controller problem. There's a little knob that prevents it for the button from you pressing in all the way, and that was turned on on accident. Hmm, let's see. Looks like water, maybe? The UI is a little tiny on the bottom left there. Hopefully we can get that to be bigger. Boom. Boom. Oh, hello. Let's see if we can take all of these. Oh, we're getting hit. Uh oh. Oh, no. Sir? Upgrades. Uh, let's get this thing so we can tell when they're coming. Hmm. The Increase the propellant drill boost, letting you drill faster. The propellant's uh, fruit grows much faster. Let's get that one. Eat the fruit. Oh, so now I can see the timer when they're going to when it's they're going to arrive again. So I got to make sure that I'm up there in time. Ooh, it starts getting hard to drill down there. I think we'll try to grab some other resources while we're waiting. Okay, we got some water. We should be able to make it back in time before the monster comes. Okay, that thing's coming any minute now. Stay near the surface. Okay, we gotta go. Almost out of time. Die, demon! Okay. Beginning waves are not so bad. Not so bad. The natives are restless in this place. Oh, that's a jackpot of a bunch of upgrade materials there. Oh, yeah. Four of these guys. Hold in there. This is such a clever little concept of a game. I like it. Probably optimal to do uh, two over so I can see new stuff. Just like that. Four is a good number. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta 
Uh, adding targets that later showing where it's aiming. Uh, laser moves faster. Oh God, nope, 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 sir. Oh, they have flying ones now. Ooh. Yeah, that's so cool looking. I really like the aesthetic of this game. It's very cool. Okay, grab all that. Grab the fruit. I need to grab all this stuff. Okay, that was one too many, unfortunately. This game is a uh, demo, it's, so if you want to play it yourself, it's out now. It's on Steam. So far, very cool. Water. Uh oh. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh no. Oh no. Upgrades. Oh god. Um, hmm. Permanently increase the structural integrity of your dome. Repair your dome repeatedly with cobalt. So I find cobalt I can repair. Uh, drill. Increase the drill strength to dig faster. Yes. Definitely want that. Jetpack to move faster. Additional thrusters to carry more resources. Okay, I want all the things. Yeah, so far, very cool concept of a game. I, 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 I dig it. <laughs> Literally. Let's get this up there. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, go straight down. Okay, grab all that and let's go. It's a good fiber there. Dump it all in there. Upgrades. How about damage stun? Laser moves faster. That one seems very important. Propellant lasts but longer. Speed boost. Move faster. Oh God. Oh no. Okay, he dead. Our dome is looking real rough right now. 
Yeah, I managed to burn away the projectile. That's a cool mechanic. Some water. I think we're gonna, we need some cobalt, so we gotta start repairing. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Okay, let's get this up there. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't think I can get back up before the next wave comes. Maybe with the maybe with the propellant we can get there. Okay, we gotta go back fast. Maybe start not as deep, that's what she said. Okay, um. Faster moving late. Our base is looking real rough right now. Oh dear God! It's starting to spark. I yeah, I just nah. I don't know how much more damage it can take. I haven't seen any cobalt yet. I don't know where we're going to start fighting that. I have two cobalt, also I can, I can repair. Thank God. Leave one behind. Okay, that is so far down, unfortunately. Uh, uh. Uh, my little little blocks are bouncing against each other. Display this dome structural integrity. Um, repair your dome repeatedly with cobalt. Harden the the um, dome, make it take take less damage. Permanently increase the structural integrity of your dome. I have five left. Um, repellent lasts for longer. This is fine. Yep. Oh god. This is fine. This is fine. Who needs to have any health? Uh, oh dear God. Okay. Um. Uh, I need more cobalt. I don't know where to find it. I think you start with a few. That's a pity. You can tell this game is tuned to be tuned to be very, very difficult. It's one of those chats like. <laughs> yes, kill his little base. I love it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, um, I'm guessing Cobalt's really deep since you have to use it to repair. They don't want you to repair because then it's not difficult if you have a healthy ship, a healthy base. <laughs> Let's see. The ultimate goal is probably really, really deep. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Hi. Hi, Tifa. Let's see. Upgrades. Increase the health of our base. Thank God. Nothing. Um. Speed while turning. Yes. Okay, that is so much better. Quickly. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. All right, let's try looking around. Um, make a cross section here so we can start seeing any other resources. So I haven't seen any cobalt yet. I like the sound design and the graphic style. It's very cool. It just works. In fact, it just works so much. I wonder if Todd Howard made it because it does just work. Uh, the fruit tree basically gives you a big boost to your, um, makes you move faster, attack faster, you can upgrade to be even better. It's like a little booster, it's a little plant that grows once in a while. <laughs> yeah, we'll watch the game show extended, uh, later. I think it's in, like, 50 minutes. 30 minutes. We'll see how it is. Quickly, quickly. Oh, no. They're like little... Sappers. Oh no. That's very not good. That's very bad. Uh, let's do drill strength so I can mine much faster. Uh, let's try. <gasps> oh. Finally found cobalt, I think. Wait, that's not cobalt. What is that? I, I found a cobalt now, but what the hell is that? Oh. Let's see what this thing is. It's a big old chip. She big, though. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Pick a gadget. Lift. Install lift automatically moves mine resources to the dome. Shred the cobalt. Shred the gadget and gain two cobalt. Let's try the lift. I like the idea of the lift. I just have to draw resources there. Yeah, so let's put this here. I gotta drill straight down now. Yep, 
Yeah, that sounds. That's a really cool. Upgrade. Uh oh. Rip dome though. For some reason they're not going upwards. Uh oh. Oh no, there's no way. No. No. Dome is lost. This is such a fun little game. I like it. I know I got distracted by the lift so much. Let's try another run. That's really fun. What a cool game. So definitely, now we know we need to always be going straight down. Because if that lip comes up again, we need to be prepared for it. Wait, I can't go any farther that way. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, uh, let's go back quickly. Okay, uh, timer. Display the structural integrity, yes. And we'll look at resources, sure. So we have a little bit more time. This is a free demo, so if you want to play it yourself, you totally can. Try this cross section here. So it's nice to know there's like little hidden power up thingies around there too. Okay, that's gonna make me move too slow, so quickly. Need rotation speed first. Okay, battle. Die, demon! Get fucked! Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I mean, think of the children, Dan. Think of the children. Um, get, get screwed, sir. Ooh, did I find a power up already? what this is I know no wonder aliens are attacking me with my like foul mouth and that attitude can you imagine it's all probe to see which real nearby resources mainly trigger needs to be recharged at the probe station I want the lift first I like lift very cool I need to Stronger drill. Nope. Definitely work on the lift. Okay, now we gotta go back quickly. Die! Straight down. Some crystals there. Looks like some resources won't um, automatically get pulled over there. Yeah, it seems like some things do get automatically pulled up, but not everything. Does, 
Oh, here we go. Lift now also lifts you up. Install a lift that automatically uh, moves mine resources into the dome. So it only carries three at a time. Okay, interesting. Okay, really need to get another um, upgrade. Oh, the little the little thing moves them. I see how it works now. Okay. So a little guy will grab them and just leave them there, and then he'll pick them up and then move them over there. Okay. Now we get how it works. All right, not too bad. going okay just gotta look for a few more resources I need some more uh, yellow powder stuff let's see if there's any in here I woke up feeling so sexy this morning oh really that's always a great day you wake up not feeling horrible about yourself it's always a good day rare, but it happens. Alright, upgrades. Let's go for better drill, for sure. And let's upgrade our our speed, our twirly speed, because we'll need that for sure. Okay, he's going to grab those few resources. He is such a bro. Such a bro. Helping me out like that. thruster upgrade for carrying more stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll be watching the extended showcase a little bit. I don't know what extended showcase exactly means, like what they're going to be showing, but hopefully we see something cool. Ooh, mother load. Grab all this, drop it. Grab all this. Drop it. Okay, let's go down this way. Ooh. Nope, okay, all right. Oh god, 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 oh god. Oh dear god. Oh no! Oh 
your gun. Okay. Um, repair. Take less damage. Um, let's repair first. Whoo, okay. Whoo. Uh, Jeff tweeted, the extended thing is mostly interviews for already real games set expectations. Okay. So it's not like it's going to be anything like mind blowing, but that's cool they're doing it though. Ah, okay. Okay, drag this over here. So it's not like it's gonna be like an hour of uh, interviews. For the most part. Okay, keep dragging up. There's a little Xbox event today, but it's mostly just interviews with devs. About the games they've already announced. All right, 15 upgrade. All right, let's see, what do we got here? I right, do need to find some water. I don't have any water. Damage, speed. Uh, we have two left, so it can't really do anything. Guess I can look around the surface a little bit, see if we can find anything. So you can't go too far to the left or the right. At least in the early stages. So we did find some water though. Alright, sir, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. down this way. Ooh, more cobalt. Let's move these here. Let the lift do that. I like the lift. It's so nice. Okay, let's go over this way. Hello. Uh, it's not gonna make it to, oh, there's a whole mother load there. Let's do hmm, five. Nothing. I don't have enough for anything right now. I will come back later. I'm gonna go get the mother load I found over here. Jack, can you tell them to stop bullying my base? Like, what the hell? Okay, this is get it. This is real slow. Oh, come on. Come on. OK. 
Okay, 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 okay. Upgrades. Let's see. Definitely damage. Um, I have a little bit of water. The lift now also lifts you up. That sounds useful. A little bit of a boost. Propellant uh, grows much faster. Um, letting you move faster. Yeah, I'll grab those. Okay, I only have a couple of minutes. There's water chilling here? Hiding like that? Sneaky. Grab propellant and let's go. I'm sure there'll probably be boss style enemies at some point. Okay, this bottom layer is so hard to dig through. Okay, let's stick to the higher layer because it's not worth it. Upgrade. Okay, another big chip upgrade. Let's see what's in here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I love how my character looks like a little butterfly. Um, produces produces blast charges that can destroy shining blocks. Uses water. Shred the gadget in cobalt. Stun a small install, install a small laser that stuns small monsters automatically. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll see what that means. Small laser. Um, let's go. Oh, she big. What the hell is that thing? Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It's not dying. Oh, my God. It just died as it just got to the bin. Oof. Oh my, that was like, uh-oh. It's coming right to it. I was like, oh god, it's gonna probably one-shot my base, isn't it? It's that kind of a thing. But luckily, somehow, we pulled through there. Okay, let's try two over this way. See if we can find any more secret resources. Okay, I got some resources here at least. Okay, not some, a whole bunch. Let's get um, you guys in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that one. It's the straggler. Damn him. Oh, no. What was that sound? Ha, ha, ha. 
this is fine. It's it's great. There is absolutely no reason to panic. Everything's going just the way I hoped it would. No issues at all. I'm not leaving any block behind. All right, we need to explore some of this easier to dig stuff because I need resources and I need them yesterday. Upgrade. Let's see. 14. Um. Let's do stronger laser. Because that last monster was. He was like. <laughs> Is that all you got? Because <laughs> uh, there was ever two of those things. Whew, I'm in big trouble. Again, we are just so fine right now. Like, there's absolutely no reason to worry. I really could use some cobalt. That's water, which is not quite cobalt, but you know, I'll take it. Cobalt is like have been has been very randomly somewhat deeper, somewhat not deeper. Seems like it just spawns wherever it damn well pleases. And I can respect that. Seven. Hmm. That upgrade. Ooh, I could afford a little bit more health. Oh my God, I'm gonna need it. Okay, that could have been way worse. Um, how about over here? Yeah, there's some hidden resources here. There's gotta be like a boatload of cobalt just chilling somewhere just off the beaten path over here. And hello, darling. We meet at last. Where have you been all my life?
<laughs> okay. Showcase stream strategy. Let me know if it looks like it's something that's really awesome or if it just seems like eh. I know the streamer RNG sometimes pops up and it's kind of awesome. They're playing Starfield! Damn it! Something tells me that you are bold faced lying. Uh oh. Oops. Sun laser now deals small amounts of damage to targets. Uh, faster and fires for longer. Moves faster. Right, let's, let's upgrade the little baby laser and make him better. Oh, dear God. This is getting intense. Way too intense. Like, what the hell? I'm getting real nervous now. Like, it is like they are hitting harder, faster. Let's see if we can hopefully find a couple more resource pods or we're screwed. Nope. Um. Am I drilling too deep and too greedily? Is that the problem? Gotta go, we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay, that was a big chunk, but man, they don't give you much time between waves anymore. Okay, battle time. Let's go. Let's friggin' go. Uh. <laughs> Where is this artifact? Now we're digging too deep. Why does that side not want to be digged so much? Okay, more cobalt for repairs. Let that go up. Okay, let's dig down and up, see if we can find something.
They're already stuck in there. Damn. Nope, nope, nope. This kind of reminds me of that one arcade game where you like your little base, you have to fire missiles at things. Oh no! No! <laughs> yeah, missile command is that. Little little missiles would come shooting at your little base and you got like fire at them and lasers. Oh no. Ah no. Well let's let's take a look at uh Xbox and see. Oh this guy's sexy. Continued to sort of examine how we think about games and, and making sure that they are going to meet our players' expectations. Obviously, the last two years have really challenged us from a development standpoint, uh, how we work now largely re remotely, um, while a lot of our folks are not back in the office. And, you know, that has an impact. I, I also think we've been thinking about things like release dates and when do we give those out and, and how do we make sure we give one out that, uh, that we actually hit and, and don't have to change later. So, um, it's not something we undertake lightly, but at the end of the day, I think what our fans expect, what Xbox fans, what Bethesda fans expect is a is a high quality game and, and we want to do everything we can to give our teams the time to to fully realize the, the games they're making. Yeah, and I think that's what it's all about, right? Like delivering an amazing experience. I'd much the rather they give a there. date and, so, and then hit that games, date. We're just gonna jump into it. We're gonna set start a date and keep delaying it every Sounds six good. months. Mm -hmm. uh, now before we even get into the game, I, Arcane's making the game and I want mm -hmm. you to talk a little bit about the pedigree of Arcane, just in case people don't know. Sure. These folks over there, they're doing their, their thing. Arcane Studios is known for really amazing, um, immersive uh, sims. They, they do any number of things. Um, if, you, if you play games of theirs, Dishonored, Dishonored 2, Prey, there's a lot of common threads you'll find in them. They create um, really amazing, believable worlds. I think that's a big part of their game is, is when you're in Dunwall or you're up on a, a space station in Prey that it, it feels believable. There's a reason why things are the way they are. They're also a big believers in systems base as opposed to scripted so they they really embrace player freedom and sort of giving players the tools to decide you figure out how you want to complete this mission uh, what he was saying is area. we're not going to tell you they how don't want to set a release date tools, and then and then give you the freedom have to, to go keep and pushing do. it but, back you know there's great versus just not saying a release story. date at all a lot of different elements not delaying really like let the player create the experience like period they want. And that's what it's all about. Gamers have taken many games and made it their own. And I think the fact that Arcane is making the game with that in mind is super important. Now, how similar or dissimilar would you say this game, Redfall, is from the other Arcane I mean, games? look, on the surface, it's a first-person shooter that you can play solo or with, you know, up to four players. And so immediately you might say, well, it's not a single-player game, so it must be wildly different. And, and don't get me wrong, there's absolutely ways in which it is different. But I think when folks play the game, and even when they see more of the game, I think they'll start you to see all of those things about an arcane game that mm. they that they love and appreciate. You know why it's won multiple uh, action game of the year awards for Dishonor, for Dishonor Two, is their ability to to bring all of those things together, really high level of polish, and and let folks experience it. And so I think all of those things we talked about. If you want to play a game by yourself and get a great arcane story, you can absolutely do that in Redfall. But you can also Ooh. do things that you haven't been able to do. In an arcane Ooh. game, like experience it with friends and and find out sort of how Ooh. the whole can become great. I didn't realize it was going to be a single player like game too. Off of each um, character's abilities, you saw some of that in the demo that we showed. You know, I think the more that people appreciate that, you, you almost are going to want to try and play Redfall a couple of different ways. You might want to play it by yourself a little bit, play it with others, and it's a game that allows you to do either or both of those things, however you see fit. I'm glad you talked about playing with friends because I'm taking applications for friends to help me get through Redfall. Oh. Can, can I put my name on that list? I, I, I'm down to it. It'd be an honor. Pete, keep me on that list. All right, we need to go that. explore Redfall together. I'm, I'm excited. I can't <laughs> wait for that. And so let's talk a little bit more about the game. Now, um, Uncle you know, Pete as your friend is the dream. The reveal, mm -hmm. as well as this one that we just saw. Uh, I feel like Redfall reminded players of other co-op shooters like uh, Left 4 Dead, for example. Mm -hmm. What makes Redfall unique? 
Um, again, it's one of those things, like, if you if you watch just, like, combat footage, you might look at Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood or, or any of these things and go, oh, I see multiple characters facing a bunch of enemies, and, like, so it's the same game. But I think that's that would be doing a disservice, that it's all of the things that take place in between the combat as well as the combat itself, sort of combining different skills and abilities and, and the way that you do, you know, Layla dropping down a, an elevator using her her powers that Jacob can use to get up top on a on a roof and provide cover. You know, you have different characters who play roles really well, how you choose to use Brebone, um, the robot. All, all of those things come into, again, allowing the players not to say, here's a set of rules and you can only use, like, no, here's just some stuff that you can go off into this amazing sort of dynamic, ever-changing world and sort of experience and explore for yourself and you come back the next day and it'll look and feel like a different experience even though you're in the exact same part of the game. I mean, I think those are the kinds of things that Arcane does that really um, bring that sort of extra special element that makes their game so compelling. Yeah, compelling and fresh. So I'm excited for Redfall, and you said it here uh, for everyone to see that we're going to be playing together. So I'm going to hold you to that. Uh, absolutely. You got the proof. All right. Can't wait. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so let's talk about Elder Scrolls Online. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to talk about the team philosophy, because I hear that uh, the team is actually banned from saying things like, now is the perfect time to My play. My least favorite saying is there's never oh, no. been a better time to play a game. Like, we all say that. <laughs> yes, games always get oh, better. We man. know that. The, the thing that we love about where Elder Scrolls Online is, is, is going is their ability to continually refresh the experience for players, provide new experiences, like going to High Isle, a place they've never been in an Elder Scrolls game. It does a lot High of Isle's things like good. story and intrigue. There's a lot of politics in High Isle, different factions and, and the, the conflict that's going on there. And again, a, a way that you can jump in and play by yourself and experience it at, by yourself, even though it's an MMO, but the real special sauce of Elder Scrolls Online is our amazing community. They're so welcoming, they're so helpful. You know, if you That's need a little bit of help, if you need a lot of help, they're there, um, they're, they're there for you to help explain, to, you know, to make sure you have a fun experience. And honestly, like that is such a huge part for an online game of creating an environment where anybody, no matter whether you just started playing or you've been playing for eight years, can have a good experience no matter how you decide to engage with it. I love that you mentioned that. Uh, community is such a, as you mentioned, is such a huge part of any online game. And so for players who may not have played Elder Scrolls, who are, like you said, looking to jump in, to know that they have that community backing them uh, that's gonna help them guide them in their journey mm -hmm. is super exciting. So, but I wanna talk about Fallout a little bit. Okay. Um, huge milestone recently, 25 years of Fallout. It can rent a car even now. <laughs> at this point, right? <laughs> We're talking oh, about it, all right? God. So this has to mean something uh, uh, super special to the team. Absolutely, and, and, and look, we are as aware of anybody, like this This franchise did not start with Bethesda. It's one that we took on along the way, and, and our intent is not just to, to pay homage to like Bethesda Fallout, like no, we mean all Fallout, because what this series has done, what it, what it meant to us as players when we went and played those games, played the original Fallout, Fallout 2, um, and then what the franchise has become and sort of growing and finding an even it's weird because you know, now audience. they own Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas the, uh, Fallout the studio that made the original we Fallout we really want to celebrate and honestly the, you know what's going on in Fallout 76 with the pit and your ability to continue to push the boundaries in an online game of story and meaningful player choice and as you're going along making decisions remastering that kind of, Fallout um, 1 and 2 and real impact I think is, and, is important in the like, evolution Modernizing the graphics and, and just honestly how expanding far on it a little bit would be really from its cool. Launch. Like we're keenly aware of how that launch went, but we are also keenly aware of the incredible amount of effort and dedication from all of our teams across Bethesda to say, like, we believe in this thing and we want to give the fans more of what they want and the kind of experience. Like that they that acknowledge they that they bumped up the launch. Is now is truly it. remarkable when you go back and look.